No wonder he says, even the heavens are not pure in my eyes. Aye? Right? Good. It was the same heaven place that some people are who were called the sons of God came to sleep with the daughters of men and people think it's angel. But let's go to the book of Hebrews chapter 1. Read, let's start from the verse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He says that, to which of the angels have I even me God? Open my mouth to say, you are my son. So God doesn't call angels sons. So it's an error of knowledge. That means we must correct it. Hey. Okay, good. But we are, oh, you see, clap well. We have been taught. We have been taught like that, that, oh, it is the angels. Ask any angel and ask them, where is your something? They don't have. They can't identify. But the sons of God, like Melchizedek, they have it. They wear clothing like we. They have it. A prototype of human beings. Oh, Marco Vizolo Pahasa. Because the Bible says, you read about Melchizedek. He said, Melchizedek is made like the son of man. You see? He said he's a man. He neither has father, mother, no genealogy, nothing about him, no giving birth, no... You see, he said he's made. Who made him? God. And he's the high priest in the temple of God. Where? In Salem. So, Salem is the city and Jerusalem is another city. But God says, let me make the Jerusalem, okay, to come on the earth and the Salem of above. So that is why Salem, the king of Salem, was the one who instituted Okay, what they were practicing to make their kingdom rich. He's the one who instituted the same thing with Abraham. So when God needed to make the covenant of Abraham have also a covenant of riches, which is true tithes, he sent Melchizedek to come to the earth. You think it was useless for God to send Melchizedek and people are being raised by the devil telling you that tithe is not anything. Tithe is not anything. People have taught this and they are in hell. And I can testify, I share the pulpit of the living Christ. That they are there, functioning there. Right now as we speak, they are in their pits. And people don't know this. So I say, die and see. You go to another realm, you will see. This is no argument. Hallelujah. So I don't have time to come and say, oh, prof, we are inviting you to argue over time. Me, I don't argue over it. I'm a tighter. Whether the members will do it or not, me, I'm a tighter. I hope you understand me. Good. Even angels have not seen the Holy Spirit before. But Jesus said, I've seen him. Why? Because he functioned in that realm. My angels are in their realm. And then the sons of God to their, their realm. So the sons of God were the ones who came and slept with the daughters of men. That's what the Bible put it. Today. The sons of God came to sleep with the daughters of men. And the Bible says that now a prototype of the sons of God is the Melchizedek, the king of Salem, the priests, the high priests, Okay? And Jesus was made in his order. That means there's also a dispensation of life. And to doubt this thing, I want you to open your Bible to the book of Hebrews, chapter number 11. Okay? Let's go to the 11 verse 3. Okay? Good. Roma Sokatana Handola Bashahaya. Okay. Are we there? All of us, I want us to read for ourselves. Are we there? Okay, good. Um, are we there? Okay, one to go. Let's read. One to go. That's okay. We understand that the worlds were framed. So there are several worlds. We have the world of the earth. We have another world. We have spiritual world, angelic world, temple world. We have a lot of world. It is very unwise for a king to, to, to be able, a king to build a city. Okay? A king who is glorious and rich to build a city and go and live among just everybody. No. He will certainly have his own space and his own place where it will take you a lot of time to get there. So God also, he built heavens, but he lives above the heavens because heavens itself, he said, is not clean unto me because the people are functioning all of the places they have messed up. So he lives above and he's made a temple for them, worship there. There's a king of Salem, Melchizedek, who is the high priest there. He is the one who goes into the, because if there's a holy of holies that Moses saw and did the same thing on the earth, that means, that means, listen, that means there's also a high priest because Moses did whatever he saw. 
That means there's also a high priest who also, when they worship, they sacrifice, and he also go there. And what will convince you to, that this Melchizedek is actually a priest and also does the services of, in the temple is that the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter number 7, okay, from the verse 1 to 7, he says, here, the Levites, they receive tithes, but there, he said, among mortal many, they receive, but there, he received them. Who? Melchizedek. There they pay tithe. 